right now I'm on action. Action, no, I'm not. We're doing indoor skydiving today. This is Novelist, Nov Salo. There you go. No chitter, I'm a target hitter. Go get her and a give her. Winning one I never had a figure. Okay, let's talk about skydiving. How did you find that? Um, it was a lot. Yeah, nah, <laughs> do you know what? I mean, I've been banging on about it all day. Like sometimes in my dreams, I fly in it. Yeah. And just that experience times what I thought it was gonna be is. I'm, I'm shaking. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm it's literally, good. I'm still shaking as well. Really it was good. the arms for me. I just couldn't like figure it out but yeah. we smashed it though the bit when you go to the top how do you find that that was my favorite bit i feel yeah. like on the f on my third goal i yeah. started to feel natural at it. yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> proper. it was sick man got so many flows of a river i'm a love transmitter so novelist can i have three random facts about you that your fans don't know that you've never said in an interview before all right um i like the sound of like like hoovers yeah. Yeah, I like the sound of hoovers and hair. Any dryers. hoover or oh hair dryers as well. Yeah, just like you know, like yeah. a constant fan. Yeah. So this was right on my street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you suggested it. Yeah, like, like right. It. Yeah, like the random <laughs> fan sound. Um, Two more. I said it earlier on. My favorite animal is a red panda. This animal, the red panda, is my favorite animal. It's like a fox mixed with a bear, and I like how they stand on their legs when they want something. I got a random fact. Yeah. Sir Spyro, the um, producer, DJ slash presenter slash bad boy, everything. Mm. He gave me my first ever iPhone. Did he? Yeah. What, just out of gen generosity or did yeah. you need one or like what's crack? Just, just I had a phone, but he was like, hey, bro, I got a better one. Bam, just Aww. gave it to me. Yeah, well, Bless him. 14 or 15 or something. I wonder if he'd give me an iPhone. What do you think? I want you to tell me something that your mum doesn't know about you. Something that my mum doesn't know about me. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> there she is. Hello, Something my mum don't. Do you know what it is? My relationship with my mum is like, we're very, like, she's my mum, but she's my friend as well. So, yeah. not really much she don't know about me. Yeah. I can't, I actually can't think of anything. How, how did it come to be that she started managing you? Um, just asked her. <laughs> she was like, shout, shout it down the stairs. Yeah, mum. I, I yeah, I was just like, you know, it is. I'm downstairs. She's upstairs. So it's probably I shouted upstairs like, "Yo, mum, do you wanna, do you wanna, you do, that, do you wanna get involved?" It, it was literally like that, innit? <laughs> I love it. She's sat there right now. We've all been skydiving. It's been beautiful. Yeah. I just like I needed a manager, and I was like, "Mum, do you wanna do it?" And because my mum's always, she never like let man down with anything. Right now I'm on action. So I feel like you've had some stellar guidance in your life from your wonderful mum that I've had the pleasure of meeting today. What message would you give out to people that might not necessarily have the guidance um, that you've had? That you have a choice. You have a choice whether you want to be happy, you have a choice whether you want to be fearful. It's, everything's a choice. Most people don't know it's a choice because they haven't like grasped uh, controlling things. Um, and there's some things you don't need to control either. You know what I mean? You can choose to also opt out of certain things, but, you know, like, I remember one time I was so vexed. I was so vexed. I was angry about something and just, I remember thinking, like, just, I just remember actually deciding, you know what, no, I actually, I actually feel like being happy instead. Can you please give me two standout moments that have led you to where you are now in your career? Standout moments. Yeah. When I was 13, I nearly died. Oh, so, yeah, so that had a big impact on like how I see things in yeah. life. And another standout moment was when I got my first ever flight and first booking yeah. um, abroad. First Where was festival. that? It was Croatia. Outlook oh, festival. Outlook. Yeah. Hey, that's my favorite festival. Festival sick. Best festival ever. Are you getting the share? Yeah, I am. Are you actually? Yeah, sure. Can we hang out? Definitely can. Oh, beautiful! I love that. How does the music on Inferno compa um, compare and sound different to Novelist Guy? How have you grown since that? 
Okay, um, with Inferno, like Novelist Guy had a certain purpose. It was to like, it was to inspire people to think on the bright side and just be positive. In, and, and there's a lot of like mantras and affirmations within the album. But Inferno is more like my actual personality just on my, on my day to day without, without me um, having a direct purpose with the project. Like everything that I, I write is real to me. I don't write lyrics that I like throw away lyrics. And there's a lot of double entendres, uh, metaphors, hidden messages that if you delve into the music and like really just meditate on what I'm saying, you, you, you'll get a lesson from it. It's Will, isn't it? Can we just give a big shout out to Will for being an absolute legend? Yeah, and did some insane sorcery, wicked business going up there. Airbending. Yeah, it was amazing. What's coming next is I'm, I'm, I'm dropping a, a project quarterly, so every three months there's a guaranteed project. But I'm, I think I'm going to drop more projects in between, just because now I feel like just putting out loads of music. Most of the, most of the titles of like my projects are fire-based, so we've got Inferno, the next one's called Rainfire, the next one after that's Ablaze. Oh, cool. We've got another one. Why is that? Just because uh, I'm on fire at the moment. Ah, I love that, because he's on fire. I'm on fire, man. That's wicked. Sometimes you got to heat things up, you know what I mean? What, you want to go for some tequila now? Tequila and cranberry, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Bye, Skiddle. See you later, Skiddle. Bye! At one of your shows, did you let me MC with you? I mean, if you had the confidence to, yeah. It'd be a lot. I've got the confidence, mate.